Hi there, I'm Christina Cote with The Chef's Connection and we're at Spice Market today in the Meatpacking District talking to pastry chef Christina Kelber. So how long have you been at Spice Market? Uh, I've been here about 10 months, okay. yep. Um, have been with the company um, prior to that. I took a little hiatus from the company and lived in Napa Valley for about a year and a half, but um, at the end of the day, this is my family, you know, the company and the, yeah. the directors and the, the corporate team is really, you know, just family. You can easily present them with an idea and they just, you know, embrace it, which is really nice. So that's fantastic. What brought me back here, yeah. Yeah, that's a huge thing. Yeah. So tell us about, so you're, you do the pastry, amazing dessert confections here. Yeah. Is that right? Will you tell us about... Exactly what you create. I mean, um, this is very exciting. Yeah, so, well, Spice Market's been open for about 10 years now. Actually, we just had our 10-year uh, anniversary. Um, and so there are dishes on the menu that, um, you know, are, are staples and that won't go away. Um, but with that, you know, kind of... Uh, taking those dishes and just kind of refreshing them a little bit. You know, like our Thai Jewels um, dessert, which was, uh, you know, one of the original desserts. It's like a coconut ice with some tropical fruits and like a coconut soup. Um, and, you know, it's funny because when I ate here a few times, you know, I, I didn't really understand the dish. Um, and then I came here and I kind of like revamped it a little bit so it was a little bit easier to eat. Um, so it's interesting sometimes when you can like sit down and eat a dish that you serve at your restaurant and be like, okay, well, does this all make sense? And, you know, I'm, is it easy to eat? Right. And I'm not like confused as to what's happening. Um, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, and then there's also another dish, um, which is the Ovaltine Kulfi. Um, and it was originally put on the menu by Piche Ong. Um, and another one of those dishes where, you know, we sell so many of it that you really need to look at it from a different side of ease of production even. Mm -hmm. um, so part of it's on our tasting menu um, and you know any night we can sell 300 so you really have to like think okay well how can I make this a little bit easier so we actually right. started using flexi molds instead of like cutting the little pieces because it's kind of like fudgy so sure. it's a little bit hard to cut okay, um, so we started using these like silicone molds okay. to just like pop them out so it's super fast and easy now um, but yeah that dish it's uh, kind of play off of a traditional Indian kulfi, which is their like um, back in way back in the day kind of their ice cream. So it's like reduced down cream, wow. spices or whatever. Um, and then we put in uh, like the Asian Ovaltine powder, not the American Ovaltine powder because it's a little bit more malty. Um, and then a Valrona chocolate, which makes it really super fudgy. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I think dessert's the most important meal. <laughs> Personally, I'm a little biased. <laughs> Eat dessert first. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that's cool. So you're talking about a lot of like the innovation that goes into taking existing recipes and then revamping them. Have you also added any new items to the dessert menu? Yeah, I mean that was the. Uh, Fortunately, the biggest, you know, positive side to taking this job was that, you know, with the knowledge of the company and stuff like that, um, it was really easy to have creative control over my dishes. Um, and I think my style is kind of taking recognizable dishes and kind of creating a fun twist on them. So um, one of the new dishes that I put on was the Pandan Malamar. And so it's kind of a play on the New Yorker Malamar yeah. snack cake. Yeah. Yeah. So it's um, traditionally, you know, like the vanilla cake and then it's like a white <clears throat> marshmallow on top and then it's usually like dipped in dark chocolate. Right. And I was actually reading somewhere that they only sell them in the winter because I've heard that they melt. They melt, right? right? I think it's like their hundredth year anniversary this year. Very Guilty interesting. Guilty as charged. I have several boxes at home. So. Yes, that's Stored true. Stored away. Um, so yeah, I just kind of yeah. took that idea of that uh, classic thing that you know New Yorkers recognize, cool. and then put in Asian ingredients because you know a lot of people that dine out don't necessarily know a whole lot about food and so sometimes it's nice to have them have something that's recognizable um, that's maybe in the grocery store or what have you um, so it's a pandan extract um, cake it's kind of like a whoopie pie so it's a little bit denser um, and then it's a toasted coconut marshmallow on top and then it's actually dipped in the Valrona caramelized white chocolate which is called the dulce um, amazing. Yeah, it's pretty delicious. Really thinking about it. <laughs> well, my chef is a huge fan of anything oh, coconut okay. cake, okay. and so to kind of appease him, that's right. kind of the flavor profile we went. So. That's so cool, because yeah. I know Spice Market is largely based on um, Asian street vendors and street markets, right? Yep. yep.